Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, thanks for tuning back in. It's been a while. It's been a really long time. Can't really say why other than life and we're going to leave it as that because life is just so hectic right now and there's always things being thrown in different directions and before I bore you all to death and you just want to see how I did this makeup look, I would just get into talking about makeup and nothing else. So yeah, um, I tried to keep this makeup look as a drugstore as possible. Just looking at all the products that I've used, um, I think I've achieved that. Yeah, I think everything on my face is affordable and drugstore related and no high end. And when I'm editing this, because I haven't edited this yet, if I end up using high end, I do apologise, but I don't think I have. I'm literally looking right now and I think I can safely say that it's all good. And just to quickly say as well that um, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And if you haven't already liked, then please like. And go and follow me on my Instagram. I seem to be more active on my Instagram than any other social media platform. I just like it. It's just a photo and bam, there it is. But I do like YouTube too. So um, yeah, go follow me on Instagram. It's all the same, beauty by Hanan, one word. Um, yeah, so go for it and I shall see you in my next video. Bye guys. So we are starting off with this Embrudier's as a face primer. I wear this under my foundation nearly every day. As you can see, I'm running out of that very quickly. And um, I just love it as a moisturizer. It's really simple and easy. I use it day and night sometimes and then I change up my moisturizers. Anyway, then I put on some tape just to give that nice defined look when you put on your eyeshadow. And I used my Maybelline Age Rewind as my concealer and my primer. Now I just wanted to drop in a big thank you to my makeup brush set. Um, makeup brushes, they sent me these kindly to review and I just want to say I was really impressed with them. They come quite dense, which means the products won't sink in so your, fo your foundation isn't wasted. They felt so soft and velvety and were really good at blending in face products. The, the handles were labelled, which really helped to try and to choose which brush was for what part of your face, which I always find quite helpful anyway. And um, overall, I found them really nice and they fit, fitted the contours of your face great. Then I used this NYX Metal Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. So it's all shiny and shimmery colours. I wanted to go for something quite bold and really shimmery really and not mix any mattes in and with it. I found that the eye brush didn't really do much for it. So I went, I stuck my fingers right in there and got stuck in and it was really good. I soon figured out that they weren't great for blending either, so I switched to my MAC 2177 um, makeup brush. Very trusted, and I can always guarantee that I'll blend out my eyeshadow really good. Um, and then after that, I ended up, as you can see, I'm using that right there now. <laughs> and then after that, I used my NYX Glitter Primer. That's amazing for any sort of loose glitter that you want to put on your eyes. And I used a red glitter just to complement the shades that I used from the eyeshadow palette. And keeping this makeup look affordable, I use the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation. It's full coverage and a matte finish. I applied it with my makeup brush set brushes and as you can see, I don't know if you can see that actually, but I hardly used any product and the brush helped it spread across my face and kept it to the surface and it didn't suck in any of my products on the brush. I was so, so impressed. So definitely these brushes are really good for a base or full over like covering your face with blush, bronzer and foundations. I know my face is looking super white here and this foundation came out quite light. I think it's just the lighting, but in person it doesn't look that bright on my face. But once I put on my blush and my bronzer and the rest of my makeup, it kind of just blended anyway. <laughs> then I went in with my Maybelline Age Rewind onto my eyes to highlight and I stippled in my concealer with 
the makeup brush again it was really effective at just keeping it on the surface then I did my brows with my NYX micro brow pencil this is such a good dupe for Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyebrow pencil that's one of my favorites and when I use this I thought it's really similar and had a really similar finish as well so if you want something cheaper that's definitely the one for you Then using the big powder brush from the makeup brush set, I went in with Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder in the shade Silky Beige. Really love that. Then I decided to contour some cheekbones with my trusted NYX stick. It's the Wonder Stick. Love this thing. It's so, so handy and yet so effective and really cheap and affordable too. Then I lined my waterline with Bourjois Colon Contour Pencil and I took that above my waterline onto my um, upper eyelid to create a flick cat eye. Sometimes it's some easier to apply um, a cat eye with a pencil as opposed to a liquid liner. If you find it tricky, it's best to practice with a pencil maybe to get the hang of things and then move on to a liquid liner. And then since I have false eyelash extensions on, I don't actually need any mascara. However, I am using a clean spoolie brush. So that's a clean eyelash brush just to brush through my lashes. But on my lower lashes, I use L'Oreal Mega Volume Miss Manga Mascara. Then I've gone on to my PS Cosmetics by Primark. And that's three thingies. It's bronze, glow and blush. I don't know why I said thingies, but you know what I mean. And I just went over my contour in the cream contour by NYX with the powder just to define it that little bit more. Then I went in with a pink shimmer highlighter by Makeup Academy just to highlight my cheekbones and any highlighted areas. My next step, I actually filmed my lips. Now I didn't get to film it because for some weird reason it stopped recording and I didn't notice, but I used NYX Liquid Suede in Metallic Matte in the colour, what's this called, Biker Babe. Oh my god, it's so, so stunning. So gutted I didn't get to get the footage on the camera, but this is the final look. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video shortly. Bye!